Hi everyone. Um, I'm gonna start the space in a bit. Uh, just waiting for everyone to kind of trickle in, and then I'll let everyone up to the mic. Hi, speakers. Eva, um, are you gonna request? Hey. Wait, Chris, I sent you an invite to speak, and then there you go, Ida. Okay. And then, okay, I'm going to just let some odd people trickle in, and then we can um, start the space, and then I can uh, post some minutes afterwards, just for everyone to see, as we usually do. I think I'll give it like two more minutes just uh just for some people to come in. Then I'll start properly. Hi Chris. Hello. Um just give me Hi. Um we have run out of speaker spaces, so I'm gonna think about this quite logically and try and do it in order. So, first, um, okay, Eva, Isa, um, because you're going to speak immediately after me, I'm going to kick you guys off speak afterwards and then let the rest of the people on. Um, right. If someone just uh, steps down, just real quick now, so I can add Ari um, to do the initial updates with me and then... Or I can do the initial updates and you can do the phrases with had later. Um, okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to start now, I think. So, just based off our last meeting, uh, like we said, just keep negativity off the timeline. Build that community, talk to each other and just keep up that momentum. And then some of the updates for this week, updates on the hashtag, we hit 8 million on the 29th, and Simon has offered a reward if we hit 10 million. Um, I've seen everyone's excitement over the timeline about the Avatrice bed scene. I think there's a few misconceptions on what that is exactly, but I'm not complaining because it's getting everyone to tweet the hashtag. Um, the news articles mentions of Warrior Nun has totaled over 200. Uh, a small piece on the regional group chats, they're being established. Well, they have been established on the Discord server is open. And we have the design team currently working on some posters. And then I'll send that to the regional group chats pretty much this week for groundwork to begin um, with Sarah. Uh, we use the OCS chapters in Discord to organize watch parties. Uh, we've stressed this before. It's not necessarily something that we're doing to get Netflix to save us, or but it is just data. And the data, any data that's positive for Warren on, something Simon can use. And we are also releasing our press releases. Uh, they have been released. And... I believe they're in different countries. So, in, I mean, in different languages, uh, specific to different countries. So, please share them around. Uh, exposure is good. Uh, we want new viewers and new social media accounts involved. We don't want an echo chamber. And it's important to stress that we getting new viewers, getting new attention is arguably more important um, because. Twitter is an echo chamber at the end of the day, and uh, it's good that it's good, and we should be maintaining our um, momentum on here, but also being aware of the fact that we should be bringing more people in. And a small thing on the articles, we should be clicking and scrolling through them at least for two minutes, just for uh, that engagement. If you want writers to keep writing about it, we need to make sure our views are counting and our reads are counting because they get paid by read. And if they're getting paid more for talking about worrying on, they're obviously going to want to write about it. 
Um, so we should also increase our numbers across different social media. Uh, you know, use the hashtags save, save warrior none and warrior none. We should also be using um, content tags with like fan art and videos. We can use two to three content tags on things like Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr. Not um, Twitter, because I do believe using more than two hashtag counts is spam, so we shouldn't do that. But if you're using um, other platforms, feel free to use uh, content tags so it reaches a bigger audience. Okay, so a small thing on why we kind of gathered you here. We're going to start off with the kind of big update. Uh, we are launching the Warrior Nun website. So it's warriornun.com. It's, uh, first of all, I want to clarify that. Wait. So, yeah. So we're launching warriornun.com. We just need to clarify that we're not owned, operated, or sanctioned by Netflix. Uh, the website was handed to us by anonymous benefactor to use. Um, and Chris, uh, well, to Chris, and then Chris handed it off to us and our design team. It's a centralization point for the fandom, a place to promote the show to new viewers. We are holding exclusive content on there. And the OCS newsletter has a home on there. Um, just... Uh, we also have fan blogs on our work that the fandom has put in. We just wanted a place to showcase it. Um, and that's going to be worryingon.com. Um, keep us uh, updated on ideas. Uh, but um, for now, I'm going to hand it over. Wait, just before I hand it over, I was just going to say there are other websites uh, regarding uh, campaigns and things but the primary focus of our website is the franchise as a whole rather than just save warrior none um it's more intended to a wider audience and it's good that we have other websites focused on different things ours is just focused on the franchise as a whole we should support all of it and uh mm. i'm gonna pass it on to crab and uh Eva with the website. Okay, so hello everybody. Hello. You hear me? Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. Okay. Website guys. Big news. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to tweet the website link. Uh, and I hope everybody who knows about it will will tweet too. Um, but I just want to say that. Uh, for now, it's not a big website. It's it just started. It was just born um, practically, and um, uh, everything that we have now is uh, what was given to us, uh, what was provided um, by our amazing team of data analysts, and we're grateful to them for giving us content. We hope to grow. We hope to upgrade. Um, for now, we have our Substack link. Um, we're going to, uh, do more interactive things over there, like, uh, giveaways, uh, we're going to do giveaways that will be held through the website. Um, and, and um, it, we, we have like a fandom page also, not just uh, the show page. Uh, we're going to do blogs and uh, we're going to post a lot of, uh, content that we hope to find and we hope to. Like maybe if somebody is uh, interested in helping with the content, um, please just DM us uh, anything that you would think of that will help for the website to grow. Um, for now, you'll see like press pages, fan pages, and hot help pages. Um, uh, I just hope it's, it's just because it's going to start right right here and. Um, we're we're going to do it like long term content growing. Um we hope you will come to see our website and I will help you like our content. So yeah. I mean this is just the foundation. We will grow and expand on everything. Um it's just in the beginning uh, stages at the moment. Um so we have a lot of we didn't we have some data that's included on the site. Uh, but um, there's links to the sub uh, stack that has all the data information. Um, we 
we would like uh, to include the fans. So um, we have uh, the blog, as um, our crab said. Also, uh, if you guys would like to share any of your art, you're w- w- more than welcome to uh, submit those to us. Um, and uh, we, we, would, we would like your feedback on uh, everything. So if you do check out the website, um, you can always uh, DM Crab or me or K or anyone that's involved in this, all the amazing team, um, uh, so we can go through everything and uh, we'd like to be uh, as engaging and uh, transparent as possible so we can, we will uh, love your feedback to expand on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and for example, if you have like Discord server and you want the link to be included on the website, you can totally DM us and we'll add the links and we'll link other websites too. And um, I feel like um, the more like places, safe spaces that our fans have, uh, the fandom has, um, the better. So we're going to make it like a big net of, you know, many places where fandom can go and uh, have fun, engage and get new content. Yes. And uh, also we do have the GoFundMe and the petition linked and we will be posting um, those uh, as for the billboards and everything else that's going to come. Um, well, well, Sarah and Ke- uh, Kelsey will be getting more into that, but we will have all that content on the website as well. Um, again, just to clarify, we're not owned, operated or sanctioned by Netflix. This is a fan made to bring the fans uh, together and mm-hmm. uh, have a warrior on the website to promote the show because it deserves all the promotion that it did not receive. Um, yeah, and we hope you lot like uh, love it and because <laughs> we worked really hard on it. And um, if you do have any feedback, as I said, um, you can always message uh, any of us. And we will um, try to incorporate those. Yeah. Okay, is it okay, right? Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm just going to quickly uh, nod over to Chris, because this is where you're supposed to um, interject. Yeah. Yes. So a couple of key additional points on the website. Hi, by the way, this is Chris. Um, the reason this is happening now, as you probably know, so I do some of the data stuff. I run the Substack account. The reason this is happening now, um, as you probably know from the daily data updates, one look at the daily Twitter chart shows that we all know folks are getting burned out. Right? We need permanent memorable places for people to come back to later when they're ready to. And having a, a website with an easy to remember domain name, that's that's that that's a way to keep people uh, remembering us. Uh, to the question of the likely question, why is this done through me? Mainly because of the technical aspects, uh, especially configuring and securing the DNS. You know, my day job is doing data science and artificial intelligence and stuff, digital marketing, and I have the IT background to deal with all of the joys of administering DNS servers. Um, for folks who are wondering who the benefactor is, it was received with a condition of anonymity, and we will be honoring that uh, commitment without exception. And one last word on uh, all of our warrior on websites. Now, from a search marketing perspective, as someone who's been doing SEO, since like 2001 we need you we need you to keep maintaining and growing all of the warrior on websites because inbound links which is sites linking to each other is still the gold standard of how google determines whether or not a site is credible right so that's how google decides hey this site is it looks like it has expertise it looks like it has authority. It looks like it's trustworthy. It looks like they have firsthand experience in whatever the subject matter is. So we need every warrior on website, big or small, whoever's running it, doesn't matter, linking and networking to each other. So the important takeaway here is this is not, you know, everyone else should stop doing things. Like, no, everybody still needs to participate. Everybody who's running a website, please keep doing it. Please keep posting content and let's make all this stuff work together so that 
we can take advantage of the algorithms that services like Google and Bing and DuckDuckGo all use to determine who is credible. With that, Kay, back to you. Thank you, Chris, for that amazing, uh, for the amazing insight as always. Um, yeah, so there's still another update. Uh, I guess I should have said there's two updates. The other secret and the announcement will not be done by me. It will be done by two other people. So do stay tuned. There's still more coming. Um, the website was just one part of it, actually. And now we're going to jump over to just did web design so we're going over to uh outreach and marketing and just a reminder that i know this seems like a lot of information so we will be releasing minutes in multiple translations for you guys to just check over after instead of listening to the whole space if you don't have the time okay um hi i'm ashley uh i work with kate in outreach the outreach team this week Ha, like this past week has done over a thousand emails now um that was as of friday uh our latest round of emails included celebrities content creators athletes influencers with a focus on lgbtq plus individuals and those whose shows were canceled like manifest since eight why not Earth, etc um so they re received a tailored press release and media kit so that's what we did this past week, um, we've also compiled a list of Twitter handles for employees at various networks, um, Netflix, Apple, Prime, Hulu, HBO, and Paramount. And we strongly encourage you guys to use these handles when tweeting about the show, um, especially on days where we have like the phrases that include them, um, specifically when sharing articles and video edits, though. Uh, you can alternate which handles you use. Um, we're going to release the network social media page that has all of these on it. And then um, from what we've gathered also, it's worth waiting at least one and a half to two minutes before tweeting and quote tweeting to make sure that it doesn't get counted as spam. Um, but there is no retweet limit, so you can retweet as much as you want. So it's best to write a tweet and give a few retweets and then likes and then tweet quote after that. So just keep the spacing there. Um, and then I'm going to let Kate do a couple of points. Yeah. So as Ashley said, um, we reached over a thousand emails and now we're going to shift for the next round and go back to, um, re-reaching out to people that we've already sent emails to. So, um, the first focus will be contacting journalists and editors again, um, ones that, you know, the emails didn't bounce back, which was a very small amount that did bounce back. Um, and this will just be sending them updated information and data from the marketing team. So sending an updated press release and media kit. Um, so we will, you know, just be like reiterating things that we've already sent, but um, just going at it in a bit more full force. And then the other thing that we've been working on is the postcard postcard campaign. Um, so this was released last week in collaboration with James. Um, we will be posting again this week with a new phrase um, and addresses to focus your postcards on. So this is just the postcard campaign in general is just another way to reach out to networks showing, you know, why we love Warrior Nun um, outside of, you know, um, posting on social media about it. So we will be um, posting an update later about the different networks that we'll be targeting with this and the addresses to send for those. And um, if you do participate and write postcards, it would, we love um, seeing images of them posted. So we've seen some, you know, people posting them in the mailbox and stuff, and uh, that just kind of gets everyone fired up. So if you're comfortable doing that, we would love that. Um, and then the next thing that um, the team has put together a link tree page. So this has links to the petition, um, the new website, the GoFundMe, um, the Substack, the Save Warrior Nun website various discord servers the youtube channel and a bunch more and so the purpose of this link tree is to provide information on all the various projects going on in the campaign 
in one place, mainly for new fans. Um, so we will share, I believe um, Coco will share the link tree and that's also in the minute notes. But um, Ashley and I, you can probably see we've added this to our bio. So if you all also want to do that, um, this is just a good way for new people who are joining the fandom. Maybe, you know, they go to one of our pages and can click on that link and kind of get all the information right there. Um, and then I'll go back to Ashley for the last part. Okay. Um, like I said last week, we are still trying to collect fan art for the charity uh, Covenant House, um, which was voted on by a lot of you guys. So that is pinned in my profile if you want to uh, submit your artwork, some have other people submit theirs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we have for outreach this week. Amazing. Thank you, Ashley and Kate. Um as always, I'm super impressed by the amount of work and effort you put into this stuff. And it's uh, genuinely amazing. It is, um, yeah. And then um, I believe we have Kohosh with marketing. Hello. All right. So for marketing, one of the things that we ended up doing was, uh, as mentioned by uh, Ashley, we reach out to the celebrities and the influencers. We give them their own uh, coordinated, individualized, though, uh, for specifically this audience, uh, their own press release and a media kit. Um, and that actually kind of mimicked the postcard design. So it kind of kept everything going in a similar uh, branding, if you will. It's a little bit more in-depth than that, but that was the big thing. With the celebrities and influencers, we completed round one of all of our press releases over the last two weeks. Um, in total, there were six press releases to six different audiences and two media kits and over 1,000 emails sent out. I mean, Ashley and um, Kate have done a fantastic job. In addition, one of the press releases uh, was released to you, the fans, so that you guys can share this. Um, there are nine different language translations so if you speak German, you can use the German one. What we want you to do with them is to send them to people, send them to podcasts that you enjoy, send them to uh, local media in your area or, you know, like a group that is in your language and in your country, send it to them. Um, we're going to start with round two beginning tomorrow. Um, at least I think it'll be tomorrow. And we're going to be focusing, like like Ashley said, um, on Apple TV, Prime, and the different streaming um, platforms. So part of reaching out to the journalists and following up again with them, it's, it's a reminder that we're here. We're not just going away. The purpose of it is to keep them updated on projects that we're doing, uh, both projects for one Discord, but for also all the other Discords. So when I when I write the press releases and then we review them, you know, we're incorporating everything that you, the fans, are doing, whether it's data you've generated, whether it's projects that have been created. Um, we just want to make sure that they get to see what everybody is doing, which is awesome. Um, one other thing that was kind of interesting, um, and I realized some of the fans had been a little concerned about this. But I wanted to touch on this briefly. Um, it's a reminder about what, what happens behind closed doors we don't know, right? I mentioned this in our last space. We don't know what Simon, what Reality Distortion Field have been doing when it comes to the legal uh, side of reaching out to whoever they talk to, right? But there was a Bloomberg article that came out that had to do with the uh, change in leadership at Netflix. And... Uh, on the outside, the article is not great, but remember, guys, we are where we're here. It's an industry-wide attention because of that article. Because we're making so much noise, so many articles were written with us mentioned. That's the kind of advertising we can't just pay for. So when you see articles like that, where interviews come from the head of CE, the head of Netflix, who was probably doing a little bit of crisis management, um, truth be told, you know, Warrior Nun is right in the middle of all of this, which is the perfect place for us to be. Um, in, in the marketing industry, there's a joke about bad press is still press. You know, for Netflix, it's not great press. For us, it's press that we didn't have to generate ourselves. So if you ever think that we aren't doing enough, 
Simon is still with us. Like, he responded to a tweet using those exact words from the original tweet. He is still with us. So please do not give up hope. Um, the media has seen us. You know, we have we have made the waves in the media. We had a Time Magazine article. Um, <laughs> you know, to get Time Magazine to notice us is a pretty big deal. Um, but now we have to show that we're a loyal fan base. So that begins with the views. We can generate as many tweets as we want. We can generate as much fan art as we want. But the views are going to be one of the things that gets us where we need to go. Remember, this is a marathon. This is going to be kind of a long-term thing. Hopefully not too long-term, but part of this is watch parties. So today I sent out a uh, what is essentially a marketing plan, but it's specifically about watch parties. And I sent it to the different OCS chapters. So you think of like Warrior Nun France, Warrior Nun Spain, uh, Warrior Nun Chile. They, they are going to be a good place to reach out to follow one it's going to be in a language that if you don't speak english you know it, it will be helpful in that regard it will be helpful because they will be able to set up these watch parties and so the watch parties are going to be a way for you to socially interact whether it's tweeting about it live space uh discord talking about it what we want you to do is to create chatter while viewing now, you could do what is called active viewing, and active viewing is where you actually sit, you participate, you tweet, you talk about it, or you can do passive viewing. And passive viewing is where you might have the sound turned down, not all the way off, or you might have a pair of earbuds plugged in. And so you might be doing the dishes, or you might be studying, um, but in the background, you have it playing. And the purpose of this is we want to get back in the top 10 for Netflix on their website, but we also want to stay in the top 10 globally. We want people to know we are still here. We are not going away. Um, this is partly going to be country-based or time zone-based. The purpose of that is so that we know that it's it can be hard. You know, <laughs> this space uh, for some people is in the middle of the night, right? Well, if you work with your local Discord or uh, your country-based OCS chapter, they're going to be able to work with the watch parties and make them at a time that is appropriate for where you live. So you don't have to get up at 3 a.m., right? Um, we are recommending binge watching at least four episodes in the watch spaces. If you can only make it for one episode, that's fine. Don't worry about it. If you can make it for all four, even better. Um, but yeah, that's... Oh, the last thing I wanted to add... It is okay to enjoy new things. I saw, I've been seeing some posts about, well, I wanted to go watch this. Guys, it's okay. This is a long-term thing. So long as we have people still talking about it, generating content, it's okay. And you know what? It's good to remember why you love this show. And it's good to watch something in between or go for a trip. Take care of your mental health. Uh, thank you, Kohosh. And like I said, um, it's a very good point. Uh to avoid burnout you guys should genuinely take a break take a rest um burnout is probably our number one enemy in the long run you'd be hurting our assets a lot more by not taking care of yourselves um and that's just like the truth of it actually um so next what well, before next i just put something on to the jumbotron from someone else in our data team just uh, a small point on how to maximize visibility to companies like Parrot Analytics just have a read through and uh, follow the advice it's great and then I'm going to give this over to the editing team which is uh, Julia and Coco hello can is this working I'm in a weird situation right now so i don't know if this is working yeah you're good you're oh good. sick thank you um so the uh, watt music and video parody it released last weekend um it's posted from five different accounts so i'm sure you uh i've posted it ashley posted it, shaw leah and the nonsense space band uh so check that out it's a, it's beautifully written uh, love it. Um, and for the next coming week, uh, weeks, 
we are going to be working on multi-fandom edits, uh, trying to attract fans from other shows to be curious. Like, maybe it'll intrigue them to watch Warrior Nun as well. Um, and Project Smile's continuation. Uh, people seem to still be liking that, so that's it on my end, Coco. Yeah, hello. Um, okay, so uh, with the trailers, remember last, if you remember last um, session, we said that we'd be working on trailers, um, but the two out of three of those trailers are out now. Uh, the first cinematic trailer was released on Friday. Um, that was uh, me and Julia working together. And that um, trailer is with the themes of science and faith and the debate between the two of them that are present in the show. Um, sort of more the theological side of things, which sometimes you don't see that quite so often. So we've tried to go down routes of things that are present in the show that will interest people but aren't necessarily always promoted quite so much as other elements but may still um, get attention. Um, so this was to the music of St. Matthew's Passion, one of the pieces from that. Uh, the second trailer was posted, I think it was yesterday, um, I believe. Uh, that was with a blend of like cinematography and action. Uh, that was really cool. That's by Leo, Rhino and Shaw. Definitely go check that out. I'm sure we can probably get that in the Jumbotron. Um, if that's, yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely give that a watch. That's really impressive. Uh, the last trailer edit will be posted later this week. Um, because we've had three groups working on them, so some of them are, we're trying to spread them out a little bit rather than just posting all on one day. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Uh, also, there's a list in the Jumbotron, the, like yeah, posted by Julia. Um, so we have a list on Twitter. Basically, we've seen a lot of people saying that they want to see the edits that the team are putting out, but they aren't seeing them quite so much on the timeline for whatever reasons that might be. Um, so if you want to follow the if follow the list, hopefully that will aid in um, <laughs> you seeing the uh, the trailers and the edits and that kind of thing. Um, okay, I think that's all from us. Yep, I put the the list um, and the trailer edit on the Jumbotron for you guys to look at. The trailer is really really cool, by the way, and I'm looking forward to the next trailer. And we have data next. I know um, the person who was supposed to speak for data is currently unavailable, but I'm pretty sure, Chris, that you're willing to take over? Sure. I'll just call myself Laura. Hi, I'm Laura. Let's talk about data. Uh, two things to talk about on the agenda. Number one, uh, we have started extracting information from both Variety and Hollywood Report, two of the most influential publications in the industry uh, for television and streaming services. Uh, what we've done is scrape their websites and extract all the Twitter handles of all the relevant folks. If this is in data is of interest it to you, we have posted it publicly in the SWN Discord. If you go into the data analysis channel, Sci-Fi uh, and the team there have that data and can, and can work with them uh, to work with it. Uh, so that's a, one interesting initiative right now. Second, let's talk a bit about Parent. So you've heard the name a couple times, Parrot Analytics. Who is this? This is a company that provides third-party validation of streaming shows to the industry. One of the challenges that we're thinking about right now is Netflix may decide, no, we're we're just not gonna we're just not gonna do the thing. And so, as you've seen from our efforts with Apple TV and Prime and all these other companies that we're pitching, we want them to pick up the show if if Netflix chooses not to. Well, how would they know that the show is worth picking up? Besides the fact that, you know, we do crazy things like put up a billboard outside Netflix's office. They use companies like Parrot Analytics, which looks at third-party data, social video data like YouTube, Daily Motion, Facebook video, etc. Social media data, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, you name it. They look at uh, what they call free streaming, which is polite for piracy, uh, and then research like IMDb ratings, Rotten Tomato ratings, etc. So what we want folks to do is to do stuff that feeds their algorithm, the Parrot Analytics algorithm, which they published on their website. Recently, Warrior Nun has had a bit of a decline uh, in their data, and we don't want that. We want the show to continue to look strong 
to the players of the industry that don't have access to Netflix's data, like Apple, for example. So how do we do that? Well, we know that the, from their algorithm, the most important thing we can do is called creative participation. And the easiest way for all of us to do that, because we're such a dedicated fandom, is by creating stuff, especially with video. So if you've done any kind of videos, trailers, cinematics, crack edits, you name it. I mean, to have, have a piece of bread talking on film, who cares? If it's video, we want you to do four things to help power the parent analytics algorithm that will then help the other streaming services realize War and None is still really relevant. Number one, make sure your videos use the proper name of the show along with the show hashtag. So good video name, for example, could be like Avatris Coffee Shop Crack Edit. Worry or not, right? Number two, make sure you load your videos to the following places. One, YouTube. Absolutely. Number two, Daily Motion. Number three, Facebook videos. And number four, Vimeo, if, if you got it. At a bare minimum, Facebook and YouTube, please. Number three, create a 59 second excerpt and post that excerpt as an Instagram reel, TikTok, and a YouTube short. YouTube shorts, especially super valuable. Um, again, make sure we're using the show name properly. And number four, share it within the fandom. Put it, you know, make sure that if you're on one of the many Discord servers, you put it in one of the promo channels so that people can watch the video. Because in addition to creating stuff, we also need to get views on those videos. That's part of the parrot algorithm. Again, we spent eh, more time than is probably appropriate reading through the documentation, going through the parrot's math, because it puts lovely calculus for all of us to deal with. And these are the, the takeaways. All the things you can do if you don't work with video, leave reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and on IMDb. Those two sites for uh, allow you to rate and review shows and individual episodes, especially if you've got the time, rate and review the episodes from season two. So that's it from the data side. Back to you. Thank you, Chris, again for that incredible update. <laughs> And now we're getting into uh, two other big updates. Um, and that will be done by Sarah and Kelsey and then Aryan Had. Uh, a lot of people are waving at me. Uh, Ari, do you need to say something? Or? Yeah, I just wanted to add on to what Chris was talking about in terms of engagement um, on social media. I know that a lot of us, and we were talking about this the other day, a lot of us have either migrated or have begun splitting our time between Discord and Instagram or Discord and Twitter. Um, just be mindful that it's great to form your communities in Discord because that is more sustainable because everyone's in one closed area, but we also still want to be publicly loud. So don't, don't try to refrain from, um, I guess quote unquote neglecting Twitter um, as a medium where you communicate with others because that is one of the most important displays of the like number of fans and the number of engaged fans um, and it's easier to track because it's um, I guess public data kind of but it's easier information to track it's easier to get it to track so just remember if yes I have a discord server like Coco has a Discord server, a bunch of different people have Discord servers that have, like, thousands of people in it. Um, just remember that you can do both. I do both every day. Um, I'm on Twitter considerably less because of life, but just remember that you can do both, and it's important that you do if you are interested in this type of engagement and contributing to this kind of data that could be really helpful in um, selling the show because it shows that it has a massive fan base and a dedicated fan base at that. So I just wanted to add that on until we can, uh, continue to another um, subject. We got 1.9 million tweets to go to an Avatris bed scene. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. You know what? I've seen how people, especially these gay people, have been tweeting. I feel like we'll get that soon anyways. Okay, but back to our other two big updates um to end this off with actually three big updates i forgot um there are three big updates so you guys better be prepared um sarah kelsey take the floor yeah can you hear me okay i can't no i'm joking i was like oh no <laughs> okay so <laughs> our first little announce announcement coming from me and kelsey is we are raising the limits of the gofundme 
Um, we Our initial goal was 35000 We have now raised it to fifty. This will be in cause due to, you know, fund other groundwork projects because that is now our main focus, as well as other cool projects in the works that are just, you know, a bit more costly than others. Um, and that groundwork funding will go to, you know, the approved approved people, but I do hope to share it with everyone. So everybody who does want to do some groundwork, whether it be in the States or in a, international, that will be available to them. And then we do have an update, or let's see here, I'm looking down my list, so I apologize for that. Um, just a quick update for the PR back, the PR packages we are sending to platform offices. They are almost complete. We are just waiting on one or two more deliveries, and then they will be sent out shortly. They are compromised of custom Warrior Nun merch that are pretty cool, and some info- infographics will also be included in them. And then Once they are finished, I will post some pictures for them. Um, another small update, or I guess it's a bigger update, but we have submitted artwork or an image to get a billboard in New York City off of Manhattan or near Times Square. And we did that so people who are doing those groundwork, that groundwork in New York can go take a picture with them. And then let's see here, the biggest update here that we wanted to talk to you guys about was I, Kelsey and I are in contact with Ben Dunn the creator of Warrior Nun Comics. And he has graciously given us some art to give away and sell for these products. And I'll post the link here. But the way to sign up to for those giveaways would be to sign up for the sub, excuse me, the sub stack that Chris is. And let's see here, I'll post it. Kelsey, while I'm posting, do you want to take over? Kelsey. I think Kelsey's phone keeps crashing. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just keep continuing then. I post the link. Um, so again, just to reiterate, the way to enter into this little, you know, giveaway thing is to just sign up for the Substack, and then that way your email is entered, and then you would be eligible to win some of this art. Because I know there's not a lot of custom Warrior Nun art or merch out there, and this is what's available. So we will give away a few, and then later I will auction off the rest. It will most likely be through eBay, but then I will give those links to everybody, including other servers, to share around so everybody can be involved as well. Awesome. Um, I think Kelsey keeps getting kicked off. So, Sarah, oh wait, Kelsey's back. We'll try. Um, otherwise, Kelsey, yeah, 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 we can. On my phone sucks. Um, yeah, basically exactly what Sarah said. You know, we've been in contact with Ben Dunn, and um, you know, with uh, everybody will be eligible. I probably missed a couple pieces of this, Sarah. Um when my phone was glitching out. But um, yeah, just make sure you sign up for the sub stack because it will be a random raffle happening. <clears throat> and we are trying to be as transparent as possible. Again, we want to be as transparent as possible. That is our goal, to be as transparent as possible. So in saying that, if you have questions or anything, please um, DM me, DM Sarah, uh, DM both to see who responds first, you know, whatever we can play a game. Um, but again, our goal is to be transparent. And um, now, Sarah, I need to, I'll listen to you talk for a second because I don't know if I missed anything important. I think, I think I covered most of it. I, I mean, I'll go through it again, but just to say we have raised the limits of the GoFundMe. We're going to fund some more groundwork, you know, go for more charity projects and donations, as well as giving you guys some cool projects to see as well. And then the updates on the PR packages, they are basically, you know, 90% complete. We're just waiting on one or two things to be delivered, and then they're going to be sent out. And then we have a New York City billboard that we are trying to purchase. We're just waiting on the art or the image approval. Um, But after that, people will be able to go see it for, um, I believe, four weekends in a row. The goal is a digital billboard, so it won't be static like the one in Los Angeles. So it will rotate out and be played, I think, 20 times an hour if it's approved. But yeah, the other, the, the, just the big announcement is just that we are, you know, Ben Dunn is being awesome and contacting us and giving us some art. Um, they look really great. I gave an example, you know, you can see the examples in the initial tweets, but I believe they might be all colored, like the one on the right, the image, but that's, that's what they'll look like. Yeah, they're, they're super cute. Um, and, um, also in regards to like, I know we have a lot of, um, international fandom members, um, 
and again, this is just to be transparent with everybody. Uh, we are working on it. Um, our goal is to try to find advertising uh, within London or near London. Um, Spain is also a goal. So these are on our lists. We are looking into it. We have not forgotten about anybody. We want to be absolutely as loud as we can. Um, but again, if you have any questions or <clears throat> even like recommendations, especially abroad, please reach out. Um, I will be happy to have a chat. Um, I'm always down for DMs. So again, just trying to be transparent. Um, and that's, I think that's all I have before my phone dies again, Sarah. Um, I think, I think that's everything. Just sign up for the Substack, And that's essentially how Kelsey and I are involved in this website is it just gives us a better and safer place for our links to be shared and making sure that also everybody is able to see it as well. So they don't miss it. Quick thing, Sarah, before we continue on. So you said four weekends. What days are those weekends comprised of? Just Sunday, Saturday or Sunday through or Friday through Sunday? I applied and selected a some woo. I applied and selected some time zones, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It just all okay. depends on when the image is approved because you know our last last one took a couple weeks. I doubt it will take this long, but that's the general idea. Okay. Right, so so if anybody's planning on going there to see it, it's it'll be there um, through those days. I just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, it's not up yet, but we just know that an image has been submitted for approval, and then we will announce if it's up or not. Yep. Perfect. So, once again, uh, if you've already signed up to the Substack, you're automatically already in. Um, you're already counted, I believe. And... Yeah, that's one of the big updates. There's another big update with HAD. If you want to jump on, where is she? HAD, it's your turn. Okay, finally. It's, it's 3 a.m. here. And I am maybe find myself sleep a little bit. So I just announced today the uh, the phrases. Um, so we're going to have Netflix and and um, Christian Tontere Young and Alba having none of it because, you know, Christian to Terry Young and Elba one has been requested a lot and having none of it too. Uh, and why we include Christina and Elba? Because when we include them, you all slay hard. So we want to go to the 10 million uh, so we, we can get the script. So I'm going to read the, the goals for, for the tweets today for our phrases. Uh, Netflix, we hope we get like 200 or 300k. Uh, Alba and Christina, I think it's possible to reach like 400k and having none of it it's going to be better if we reach like 200k goal this and specify it we should be in the worldwide trend top 10 because if we are in top 10 we could be making more articles so uh i think netflix reverse your decision can i give us like 100 or other another uh article so um this be more louder and today Simon replied to my tweet about the space so I'm just still waiting him to contact me so we can organize this space also Ames reached me in the DMs and uh, she would like to be with us in Simon's space so I told her it's not now because you know we still didn't reach the 10 million tweet so uh, we're gonna have a special um, a space with Ames this Friday 10 p.m. GMT I'm just gonna you know tweet the tweet so you can set the reminder and join us in the space. Uh, we're going to have some fun with her. So don't miss it. And um, I saw some people, you know, uh, feel uh, negativity about the uh, fluctuation in our trend phrases, numbers. It's okay to be one day up and one day down. Uh, we don't expect every day the same numbers. Um, so just keep the positive energy. Uh, we're doing great. And especially now, after Father Simon uh, last tweet about the script, we're doing amazing. So I think I think that's all. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Hat. That was an amazing update, as always. Um, Adrian, uh, I'm not sure. I sent you an invite. I'm not sure if you if you got it. Um, but we've basically reached the end, nearly the end of it. Um, wait, Adrian, I'm gonna send you another. Um, request if you want to see it but uh we're in the last spot so it's a bit of like housekeeping now uh 
a small update on the order Discord hours, the amount of work that was put in last week was 688 hours of work. And our 10 week total accumulates to 5,453 um, across all um, channels, which is quite impressive, actually. Uh, the OCS newsletter, uh, there will be a video interview with KTY um, that will be coming out tomorrow, I believe. And that will also be on the warrionon.com website, along with other exclusive content. Oh, Adrian, you're here. Would you like to uh, add anything else on? The interview is actually already out. So everybody can go and read that now. It'll be posted to the oh. website tomorrow. Perfect, actually. Um, I'll go, I can add that to the Jumbotron. Um. And then, all right, so everyone go check out the video interview with KTY on the OCS newsletter. And um, that will be on the website tomorrow, uh, along with some other content coming out soon. Thanks to Adrian, who's been working super hard. And thank you for trusting the website with the, the OCS newsletter. Uh, the next well, thing is... Say a shout out to Julia, who um, did the edits, the video edits for the KTY. Yeah. Like, um, thank you, Julia. Like, on top of all the edits that you've been doing, um, I genuinely appreciate, and we all genuinely appreciate the amount of work you put in, uh, especially with that 5,453-hour total. Um, we also, just a small shout out to Chris, who's been the Substack, who's been doing the Substack newsletter, the daily data updates regarding War Uh, you can subscribe to it on our website and you will get it in your email. If you want to have more information just on data, how well we've been doing, how well War Yanan is doing, um, that is definitely the place to go. Um... Yeah. Is there anything else that I'm specifically missing? I if think we're good. I think it's covered everything that's needed to be announced. Um, but yeah, website, um, newsletter, ATY interview is out now. Yeah. And Simon yeah. has a proposition for us. So let's get to work. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to quickly put the newsletter on the jumbotron and then if i can find it uh jesus and then i'll end the space here we go the kty special i give that a retweet as well and yeah that's it uh this is usually around the time that i ask questions um so I'm going to quickly do a small read through through the comment section and then I will end the space. As usual, the minutes will be out and this is recorded. Someone asked where we find the media kit to send to podcast. I feel like this is um, Kohosh. It is in the links below. Well, the media kit, <laughs> it's mostly just the press release with a data sheet, um, but I... If the person wants to reach out to me via DM, I can hook them up with the pictures. I did tweet them a little bit ago. I was actually just looking for them, um, but they can send me a direct message. Um, but the lang the different languages of the press releases are in the comments for the space. Perfect. Um, the New York billboard and the LA one, do they have the same art? Um, this is a question for Sarah. Yes. So the art that we submitted is very similar to the one in L.A. Um, we are trying, because it is digital, we have a little bit more liberty to possibly animate it. We are just waiting to see if the image in general is, you know, approved because it is a different media company we're going through and they already have their own little say in what they do and do not like. And we've already had to change a few things. But yes, that is the goal. It is the same image are very similar to the one in LA. Um, there was a last question on the postcard initiative, which uh, Ashley, oh wait, um, let me find Ashley and Kate. And if you just want to jump on, I think that'll be the last question for them. Um, we can end it. Yep. Uh, okay, we might have too many speakers. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kick some of you off. 
Um, you can shake me off. I'm good. Okay. Perfect. Yes, I'm going off too. It's like I have to sleep. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. You. Yeah. Um. But actually, yeah. Postcard initiative. You can give a quick update again. They might have missed it. Okay. What was the question? <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. I stopped. Just progress on the postcard initiative. Um, I mean, as Kate said, if we could, we're going to try, if people respond with the, like, pictures and the hashtag, we're going to try to get a report on that. Um, I know that different people have been posting. Um, I posted a link to it. I'll try to find that again to post again, but uh, they printed, I think, 200 of them to, and offered to fill them out and send them out for people. Um... But we are releasing a slightly different version of it tomorrow that people can also print and use for a couple of different things. Uh, but I want to wait until James gets to post that. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to have a new phrase targeting a new platform, kind of the same way we've done with the hashtags so far, uh, but do it for the postcard campaign. So that's kind of the gist of what we have right now. The easiest way to track it is if you guys use the hashtags um that we put in that original post uh postcards for warrior nun and then um because then we'll be able to do more data searches on that uh perfect um i will not be taking any active speakers if you have a question um just for the sake of saving time but if you do have a question please drop it in the uh, comment section and I'll quickly look over it but um, otherwise I will be ending this space for a... uh, I'm just doing a last look through uh, alright perfect um, thank you all for coming once again uh, as usual the next update space will probably be in two weeks keep up the momentum uh, take care of yourselves primarily Things are always happening. Please don't get angsty. Like, um, like we showed today, uh, there are multiple things in the works. We can't talk about it. There are reasons, but please don't use that as a reason to get worried that nothing's happening. There were literally nearly 700 hours of work put in on Discord server uh, across all our team members. So it's not like nothing is getting done. It's just, you know, um, sometimes things take time. The website took 28 days to make. We couldn't announce it beforehand, but th we were working on it. And that's, uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Don't beat yourselves up over no news. Simon is still telling us to reach that 10 million. And if Simon is still telling us to do something, please go for it. Um, about tweeting, please use text and hashtags. Yeah, right. Uh, another thing, because more people are using the hashtags, just a reminder that use at least two words um, for that hashtag to be valid and not counted as spam. And uh, retweeting counts. And quote retweeting is also an important thing to do because uh, it just looks better data-wise uh, rather than just uh, sticking to replies. Uh, that being said, thank you guys all for coming. See you in another two weeks. Please go enter into the giveaway. It's really cool. Check out the website and have some rest. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye bye. No oh, wait, I also forgot to say minutes will be coming out soon. So yeah, <laughs> bye bye. For real. <laughs>